hello traders welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing great today i'm going to be showing you how to predict the next candlestick using candlestick psychology i hope you go value for my previous video if this is your first time on my channel do want to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can always get notified when i upload my next video okay today we'll be trading EuroJPY. Currently, we have seen that the market has been in a downtrend. But if you can observe that the market is not coming down anymore. So far, we have been seeing more of bias entry into the market, and the market has been going higher. I think the market is aiming for this level here. So we might see the market continue there, or maybe the market will retrace down and continue to that level we have above so that's what I'm expecting for the price okay but well, currently we are seeing some sellers entry I think that's some retracement let me mark out this level okay we got a good candlestick here from sellers okay now I think that's a reversal pattern I'll go with a lower option here yeah good entry point I place a lower option here because you can see we have an evening star pattern that's a reversal pattern so after this candle a strong candle so I think the market is going to come down again to that level I think sellers are going to bring the market down one more time to that level I have there okay let's see the close of this candle Okay, we have a few seconds more. Okay, very good. That was an item. I won that trade. You can see sellers brought the market down to that level. Okay, let's be patient and observe the market. Remember, I told you we might get a retracement down here before the market goes higher I think that's what the market wants to do so we'll be observing it and uh, that's the level we are aiming for that's the level we are aiming for above the market will continue higher to that level after the retracement okay You can see that level the market is having some pause at that level you can see the market is struggling to to break that level okay that was a weak red candle i'll go with the bar the higher option yeah i place a higher option here because you can see that the market couldn't close below that level below that line we had some bias entry but sellers close as a weak candle so you might expect a strong candlestick here from buyers so i'm expecting a strong candlestick there from buyers you can see it sellers from the weak candle exactly at that level they couldn't close below the level so i think that's why buyers are going to come in strongly okay let's see the close of this candle okay very good that was another good item that was a good trade okay let's be patient again and wait for the next candle I think buyers want to continue the market higher by doubt I don't think that candle is bullish enough I think we might still get some retracement down to the level we have below I think we might still get some retracement from sellers again okay, let's observe the market clearly ok 
Okay, you can see buyers are struggling to take the market higher again. And now we are getting some sellers entry. Okay, I'll go with the lower option here. Yes. I place the lower option here because you can see after this green candle with a strong rejection, sellers entered strongly and the buyers couldn't take the market higher. So that means sellers are going to enter the market. I think with a strong candle, you should see a strong candle there. Okay, we are getting some good sellers entry. Let's see the close of this candle. I think observe that level. You might have some pause at that level too. So observe that level as the market is coming there. Okay, that was an ITM. That was a good ITM. Sellers entered strongly. So I think they should be aiming down for yes, that level for the round number we have below. So the market should be aiming for that level down. And then like I told you, after there, I think the market should start going higher. Okay, we are getting some strong sellers entry. But you can see at that level I just drew that the market is struggling to break it. We are getting some some pause in price. Okay, let's see the close of this candle. Okay, we can see we got some rejections there. Exactly at the line. I would love to go with the higher option, but because of this pressure of sellers, I don't know if that mark if that level will respect price. I'm having I'm having a um, some doubts in this trade but I think I might still go with a lower option I place a lower option here because of this strong selling force so I feel that here we had some weakness in sellers that's why they couldn't break the level and buyer center and here I'm not seeing a good weakness so I feel sellers might want to bring the market down one more time or maybe we don't know but I know from that round number the market should start going higher okay let's see the close of this candle <laughs> ah <laughs> okay you can see bias entered at the last second so this level I drew was still inflation in price can see I was deceived because of the strong selling pressure so that will lead me to what I'm going to teach you guys today that's what we call impartiality in trading when trading you have to try as much as possible not to be impartial okay you can see I think I was deceived by my emotion and uh, and uh, impartiality there because I plan on going with a higher option there. You can see despite the market didn't close below the level, but I made a mistake. I was I was partial. I didn't trade pure price action. So sometimes it happens, but you just have to keep on going. I'll go with a lower option here now. Okay, yes. I place a lower option here because you can see this is not a good bullish candle and we had a dodgy candlestick so the market is aiming for that round number then exactly at that round number the market should start going higher so after that bias entry you can see we didn't get another good bias entry so that's a sign that the market has not been has not been ready to go higher okay buyers are not set to take the market higher from that level so when the market hits this round number now you're seeing the rejection exactly at that level we are getting that rejection i'm sure that that's where the market should start moving higher 
Okay, let's see the close of this candle. Okay, very good. That was another ITM. That was a good trade. And you can see the market has touched that round number. So we should start seeing good buyers entry. Okay, this is a recap. This was the first trade. Because of this reversal pattern, after a green candle, a weak candle and a strong red candle, I placed a lower option there. And I won that trade. And here's the second trade. I placed a higher option here because sellers couldn't close below the level I marked at here. And I saw weakness in sellers. That's why I was able to place a higher option at that level. And here the third trade, buyers couldn't take the market higher. We had strong rejection there and sellers came in. So that's why I placed a lower option. And I had a huge fall and sellers brought the market down because we were expecting it to retreat. And here I was I was a bit partial about my trade because of this strong red candle. I thought the market would break that level easily, but you can see the market still respected it. So I hope you learned from my mistake so that you never make it while you're trading. And then here, after this weakness in bias from this green candle, I was able to place a lower option and I won that trade. We had some good sellers in there. And now you can see the pressure of bias. The market has hit. The market has hit the round number I told you. You can see the reversal candlestick. Now observe the pressure from buyers. It's now huge. So that's a sign that the market wants to start going higher for the level I told you. So don't just you can see a new high. So just observe the market will definitely go higher and you should start seeing an uptrend continue. Okay, hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can always get notified when I upload my next video. Do well to like, please comment on this video, tell me what you like about this video. Uh, till next time, I wish you all good luck and good trading.